Cataractcoach.com. Ectopia lentis from homocysteinuria. So crystal lens removal and scleral fixation of the eye well. Now you see this is a young patient, 21 years old, poor best corrected vision, infranasal sublux lens. And look at the case here. This is very, very unusual. Now, homocysteinuria is an unusual case. You may never find one of these in your life. Now, look at the zyner support here, how those fibers are all weakened. How the endo illuminator really lets you see those weakened fibers. Now, the lens here is butter soft. It's just dislocated. It's not cataractus, so it's very easy to remove it. So, pars planar lensectomy is a great choice here, but make sure you get all of it. And now, looking back at the posterior viewing system, that looks great. Get all that uh, lens material out of the eye. If you want to, you can get a vitrectomy done here. Be careful, these guys, because these patients are young. This patient's 21 years old. So it looks like here, getting all that vitreous out of the eye, maybe creating a PVD there in this younger person. And now cleaning up all that uh, vitreous. And now we'll go back and figure out, well, how are you going to fixate an eye here? And our guest surgeon here has an unusual technique for doing this, and it's something I've actually never seen before. So yeah, when I watched this video, I said, wait a minute, show me that again? So here's the method. This is a lens that has four eyelets, but the surgeon's not using them. Instead, placing a loop of suture, a proline, around each of those haptics. So very interesting, not actually using the eyelets here. So when those are placed here, there we go. You've got four of those eyelets kind of now sutured up and now can be placed in the injector. And these long ends then are threaded through first. And then the surgeon is going to do a neat thing of keeping all the spaghetti straight. That's the most important here is keep all your lines of suture material straight. So you very smart to use that extra material there to keep them straight. And once they're straight like this, well, now you can advance it in the eye. You can get the sutures threaded appropriately and then put the lens in and pull it all through. So this is a very involved technique here. So here comes scleral fixation of the eye well. So marking off using a 30 gauge needle, maybe it's 27 gauge, hard to tell from the picture here. And getting that, bringing it outside the incision here and now threading through one of these proline sutures here. So thread that proline suture through, pull it through, get it outside through the scleral wall there. There it is, coming on out nice and easy. And do that four times. One, two, three, and four. So you can get all these sutures out. Now, of course, the key in this whole surgery is keeping the spaghetti straight. Remember to check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material, including many videos like this of how to rescue these tough cases better than you'll find on YouTube. Anyway, back to our case here. Again, bring another third proline suture, and here comes the fourth end. So all four are being removed here or pulled out through the sclera. And now, once you have those four ends out, now let's insert the eye well. Here comes the eye well now. Remember, the patient had a full vitrectomy. Lens goes inside, push it inside the eye in the posterior chamber, and now just slowly tighten up all the suture materials. Now don't pull too hard because you can actually damage the lens. Now little flanges are being created on, uh, on all sides here, so four flanges to be created. Just remember when you create these flanges, make sure these flanges are really tucked within the sclera. You don't want a big knot or big bulb or flange of proline sitting just out of the conjunctiva, it's going to erode through. You know that. So here the surgeon being very careful about that and cutting this nice and short, getting flanges that are not too big. And then once those are done, get those flanges trapped within the sclera. That'll give a good long-term effect. And so now that looks pretty good. Let's get them, but bury them more. Here's the final result, much better with it fully buried. Again, here we go. End of the case here, a little air bubble going in the eye at the end of the case. And then after surgery, what a great vision. Happy patient, happy surgeon. That is usually the method we like. Very nice case. So remember, check out our podcast every week, a brand new podcast. The sole purpose is making you a more successful ophthalmologist. Seriously, check it out.